You're watching Option Rally TV. I'm your host, Amy Anderson. Here's your week's forecast for the week starting June 3rd, 2013. Investors default back to the dollar amid unstable future. Two bucks a barrel less has investors running. And lastly, Apple versus Google. Who will win the war and why? This week's future forecast is starting now. The pound ended lower against the U.S. dollar on Friday, retreating from a two-week high as data indicated that the Federal Reserve will scale back its easing program this year, supported earlier than expected, demanding investment for the greenback. The numbers, Great Britain pound to U.S. dollar opened Friday at 1.5234 and dipped in at 1.5218, continuing Monday. Natural gas futures declined for the fourth consecutive session on Friday, hitting a two-week low, as sentiment on the fuel was dampened amid an uncertain demand requirements. The numbers, oil opened Friday at 93.57 and nested in at 91.79 by the afternoon. Okay, Android is currently winning the worldwide smartphone battle. Currently, 64% of devices sold have the Android platform for Q1 of 2013. To get a comparison, let's compare Apple iOS 6 to the Android Jelly Bean platform. Apple iOS 6 is a closed source code operating system available as a free wireless upgrade on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. Some of the 200 features include Maps, Siri, Facebook, shared photo streams, FaceTime, etc. Android 4.2 is an open source code operating system available on a multitude of smartphones and tablets from different manufacturers. Some of the features include using one tablet for multiple users and the ability to display your phone image on a larger screen. You can also beam photos and video wireless with the Android Beam function. Interesting. Okay, so keep a sharp eye and trade Google and Apple on Option Rally. For today's Market Watch, the Institute of Supply Management Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index rates the relative level of business conditions, including employment, production, new orders, prices, supplier deliveries, and inventories. A higher than expected reading should be taken as positive for the USD, while a lower than expected reading should be taken as negative for the USD. I'm Amy Anderson. For your daily dose of the market, follow me at OptionRally.com and on Facebook. See you tomorrow.